consciousness is simply the attempt of the system to understand itself. It's the attempt of the organic robot as the human trying to understand its point and its purpose within a system. A system within a system attempting to evolve into something. It knows there is something. It knows there must be something more, but it can't find it because it's never really looked. It's because the point that you know that is more is the point you don't want to look at. It's the point that takes away all your specialness. It takes away all your fear. It takes away all what you regard you to be. So that what remains is that which is equal in everyone. That is where real oneness exists. That is not being considered. That has never been considered for aeons of time as each being attempts to make itself more special without actually considering what it is that is an essence behind everything. By definition, the fact that this exists in everyone means everyone is equal in everything. Obviously, the form you take on is a temporary expression which has only emerged because of our division into an attempt to understand each other from the perspective of understanding ourselves as form. So therefore, we started defining everything. In that definition, we became trapped as the definition. And in that, we lost the awareness and we did not consider the awareness of what is really in essence our equality what is it that makes it possible for all of us to exist together what is the binding force it's not a god it's not a spirit it is life itself it is existent within everything, but could, it is not aware. Could you say that life is what people might be looking for? Life is that which you are looking for, but in looking for it, you will keep on missing it because you are it in fact already. What you have to do is let go of your programmed self, let go of your self-interest, let go of everything that you have ever allowed yourself to be as fact. As knowledge because all of that is self-awareness all of that is self-interest all of that is your attempt to make yourself more than what you are as each other in the essence of your origin your genesis your real truth when we entered heaven through the portal, or when the portal opened, the portal entered heaven through the portal, I was already in heaven, <laughs> because heaven is here as life, but not from the perspective that heaven understood itself. The same point was everywhere, I saw it in earth and everything, and every stone, every grass, every being, same in heaven, every being there, the same point. We are all the same. Not only as a program are we all the same, following the same desires, hopes and needs and wants, we are the same in essence as the life force from which we emanate. But that life force we deny because we can only actually access or recognize that life force if we recognize that as equal in all of us and it emanates, it expresses from us as what we are as form. What have we done in the forms and the systems and our expressions that we have taken on, we have disregarded life and we have made the system, the personality, the spirit idea of everything more than what life is. We have in fact become larger than life and in that has been our demise. We have lost our humbleness, 
We have lost our consideration of each other. We have lost love, in fact. And we've made of love a definition, an idea, something that we are attempting to express, but we do not, within it, consider that it exists, in fact, within each one as life. And that life, in consideration of itself, within all, equally, is what love really is. It is within that which we are one. But that love is not a feeling. That love is a realization of yourself. It's an acceptance. It's an embracing of yourself in every single breath, in every point of your existence, whether you are in the physical, whether you are a dog, whether you are a horse, whether you are a stone, whether you are the bed we sit on, whether you are an angel, whether you are in heaven, doesn't matter where you are, you are equal as this life. And to dare to become or see yourself more because of the form that flowed from it as your self-awareness is deception and is a disharmony that harms each other. That is what we say must be stopped. We must stop that which we have become as, as self-awareness in all its forms because none of it is honoring life equally as one here. Because incessantly we continue to define, define, define everything from what perspective. We have to be self-honest from the perspective of wanting to be better than another, more than another. In fact, we are saying we want to be more than life. And in that we miss everything. That is why our destiny we say, Self-forgiveness, to forgive yourself that you have dared to deny life. In every way that you have done that, you have to forgive yourself. Because only you can do that because you know where you do it. In thought, word and deed, you know where you are denying another life equally to you. Where you are judging another, blaming another, where you regard yourself as more or less. You know all the points where you are dishonest within yourself and denying you and everything else life. You will not gain access to life unless you are equal to life in every way and you recognize life and everything equally and that is proven as your living expression. You will not gain access to life at all. You will simply live out your existence, die, Forget everything and start again. Which means, in fact, that you have never existed. That's why when you die, you forget everything. Obviously before, when the soul construct existed, what was the soul construct? It was an attempt to deceive oneself even further, to try and remember your lives because you apparently believed that your lives were real. But you had to record it and place it in the Akashic record because you couldn't remember it. Which means what? Memory are part of a system. We have manifested it as a computer. Uh, we have manifested it as, 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 as uh, technology. Memory systems. Why are we doing it? Because we can't remember. We're trying to remember what it is we are. Life is not a memory. Life is in fact always here.